Hello everybody, welcome to Aloha Creations. This is Aloha and I'm back with you guys again with a desk video tour of my space, my little space. And this is a corner of my room and I've just built it up throughout the months and um, when I started my junk journal journey and if you guys follow me on my IG, I have taken uh, some photos of my space and you will see uh, the transitions and how it's been building from then. And so I'm gonna give you a little tour and talk about some of the things that I've you know, collected throughout the years, as much as the things that have been given to me through um, happy mail and swaps and things like that. So here we go. I wanted to start at the left side of my desk. And as you can see, it has now been filled up to the brim. So that is my ceiling. And um, yeah, so you guys, these wooden crates, I got them for free at the liquor shop. So I, I know, I no, I don't go there often. It was a happenstance that I was there one day and they were giving it out for free. And so I was lucky enough, it was just one of those things where, you know, right time, right place, right time. So I was so happy to have gotten them and I, you know, I've just used them as shelves. And it just organizes my books and things like that. So I'm so happy. So I do color coordinate my, my vintage books and I don't know why I do that, but I just, it's just very pleasing with all the different things that I have here on my desk. I just wanted a little bit of, um, unis unison. So that's why I call color coordinate them. And, uh, these are some brass things I've purchased at the thrift shop. I love looking at my books and I just don't look at them. I do skim through them once in a while right after I've read them. And this beauty, oh my gosh, this one here. This is a vintage camera bag, I believe from the 60s or 70s. And oh my gosh, I was so happy. But I use this bag as a book bag. And then guys, uh, these are my personal uh, journals, uh, some from my travels with my family, as well as a planner and just little journaling that I, um, I've done throughout the years. And now, I, you know, it's changed now because I've discovered junk journals. And guys, this shelf so far has been designated for things that I've received. Uh, junk journals and traveler's notebooks that I've received from friends that I've met at uh, IG. So this one is from Maud and it's stuffed. So it's completely finished. This beautiful um, winter themed junk journal was given to me by Dina. This is a journal that I made. Well, it's basically a cover, a junk journal cover that houses all of my happy mails and letters and pen pals. And um, you could see it is now stuffed. I may have to make an, a new one. And the fabric was given to me by um, Tanya Samuels, as well as the tassel she made me. This is from Elaine. It's a uh, journal that I won. I entered her giveaway and I was so thrilled that I won her her journal. It's incredible. She told me that these beads, she had made some of them, handmade the beads. So, wow, incredible. And then this is from Dolly, uh, Gypsy Rose Papery. And this is from Maud again. Uh, this was my first ever a journal that was given to me. I was so happy to have received it that she would even make me one. And these are again from Dina that I still need to make a, a journal cover for. And um, now we are, I don't want to get down off the ladder yet, 
So, you guys. Oh yeah, and my vintage brass um, keys that I have. Oh, I hope the camera isn't too shaky. And I have started collecting a, is it crochet, cross stitch uh, framed artwork? And of course, I'm a fond of roses. I love roses, they're my favorite flowers. And and oh gosh you guys those two swans that make a shape a heart shape when they're kind of kissing <laughs> and um that small line of vase i received from my brother when he visited taiwan and that little snowman is handmade by maud hamstra and i made that little topiary and yes, I have my lamp there in the corner. And you guys, this is the, what is it? What do you call Printing, printers, printers? I don't, what do you call this again? Oh, holy smokes. Um, printers drawer, right? So I have recently acquired this and oh my gosh. I was so thrilled and I didn't know what to do with it. Well, I had an idea in my head, but I just, I wasn't sure how I was going to do everything because I don't really have a lot of little things. But you can see I have managed to put little things in there. I have a little collection of salt and pepper shakers. Uh, I don't know why, but the other ones didn't fit here, so I couldn't put them in there. And then, um, yeah, I, I just kind of went around my house and uh, took some things that actually fit in these slots. So uh, I don't have much. And that's my uh, vintage collection of uh, perfume bottles. Um, the gold one is not vintage. It is new. It is a gift from a friend from Dubai. And, uh, oh, yes, that's a little mini journal inside there from Dina, Timeless Junk Journals. I have these um, silver containers that was given to me from a friend. I have a whole box full of them, so I, I did want to put some more in there, but I just put buttons and things in here. Um, yeah, I... Oh, and these like, what are those? Petri dishes? Like, you know, those things that you use at school during, you know, um, in science class. And my ever growing seals, wax seal stand, which isn't much either. And I'm gonna pause so I can go down the ladder. And here we are guys on the other side, which is the right of my desk. And again, it is now at the very top. And this side here is my red books, reds and browns, blacks. And I love it there and how it looks. It's just, I love looking at these and Oh, and these are my personal junk journals. Uh, so when I converted from scrapbooking to junk journaling, I ended up kind of um, incorporating those two together. So these are my travel ones. Um, this was from a, uh, a cruise ship that my husband and I took on our anniversary, on our 20th anniversary. And this was a, uh, of course, you can tell probably Disneyland, California trip, about my trip that we made. And this was a Christmas um, daily prompts that I did last year with Maud Hamstra. And some more red books. Oh, these are just yummy books. So this is my other side of the wall. And I've hung some of my favorite things that I found at the thrift shop. I love those two birds. They're so beautiful.
these were my early day, you know, th um, thrift things that I was doing. So I bought that frame and I don't know why, but I like it. And those are vintage uh, postcards that I bought from the uh, antique stores. And you guys, so this shelf full of my tin collection used to be above my desk, which is where my printer's tray is now hung. And um, I just tell you when, I mean, it was fine that it was there before, but because of the shelf, it was kind of protruding and the light was just above it. It really did make that shadow. And now that I have this there, it's just made my life so much better and open and light was, wow, it's like, let there be light. Um, what can I tell you about these tins? Uh, throughout, I've collected them. Uh, this is from Maud Hamstra. And um, yeah, a little, little collection that I have. And then, now I'm gonna go down again. Oh, the lighting is so shadowy. So sorry about the glare. Uh, these are some of the collections that I have, again, as far as framed artwork that I just adore. And I don't know what that is. If you guys know what that is, then you can absolutely tell me. It looks like something that was screwed on the ground and nobody wanted it to leave so I found that at the thrift shop and I just hung it there another vintage postcard I love this frame I wish I bought the other pair which is this is the girl and I wish I bought the the boy one oh. and my oldest photo that I have, which was given to me again by Dina, 1890. And I have found this plates and I made it into this two-tiered thing, contraption. There. And yes, I still have my address book and birthday book. So if you guys are my happy mails or pen pals or things that have ordered from me, your addresses are in that book. Should I have said, should I have said that? Oh my gosh. Okay, so here, let me just give you a little peek on what's inside some of these. There you go. Okay. Some beads. Buttons. More tags. Little And things and tips. And moving along on my other side, this is my little rolly that I have that houses my little tools. And that's about it. You know, there's nothing fancy here, guys. So I love it. It's so functional. I added this little. I don't know, thing, and screwed it on there, so, and then I just hooked, these are shower hooks that I, I have, and there you go, and it's a rolling, here, I'll show you, and these are where I house some of my glue and more little tins that I have, and doesn't pull out very very easily I have to use my two hands but since I have my other hand holding the phone I will stop there you go oh this, yes this is like my daily journaling and then I house my guillotine cutter and this here and it works perfectly it's my filing cabinet that houses paper and my 
Oh, I don't want to show you what's underneath yet. <laughs> okay, so I have this uh, little collection that I found at the thrift shops. I, I love them. Pressed flowers are just, they're beautiful. Oh boy. So we're back. Uh, I had a little interruption with my Mr. Girl here. I wanted to show you guys this um, little writing drawer that I found at the thrift shop a while back. And I was, I wanted to change the knobs and things like that, but for some reason it was such an effort because there's padding and I didn't want to destroy the whole thing. Oh, well, now you can see what's inside here. Um, this was a gift to me from my husband on my birthday this year, and it was something that I've always wanted, and, you know, I, very frugal, so I, that's why I was kind of waiting, but he gave that to me, and it was so special, I was so happy and so thrilled, so thank you, sweetheart, and then I have this drawer, um, I just, I found this antique uh, book and it's full of poems and things and I just keep it there because I, I read it once in a while and uh, sometimes when I read it over I find different meanings so I, I love it. And little trinket that I house little things in. And, oh, I have... The other one is hanging in one of my journals. This is from Maud Hamstra. I love it. Uh, she told me what it was, but now I forgot what it is. But I just leave it there because I like it. And this is my fancy journal. Um, when I like to get fancy, I like to do, you know, I like to do that. Sometimes I just like to scribble. Sometimes I just like to write a sentence in and then sometimes I want extra work and I get inspired and I, that's where I, I do that. And these are, I don't have an inspirational board, which I don't have the space for it, but I just use my wall and <laughs> that's a drawing from my son. And these are uh, things I received from Happy Mail. This is from Maud Hamstra. She's just near and dear to me. She is one of the first ladies that I did this, a swap with. And this is recently from a happy mail I received from Britta. And I love this one, so I just like looking at that. Also, this beautiful green tin that I received from Froki, the Quiet Rebel Journals. Uh, this is absolutely beautiful. I love this tin. Hence why it's just here um, in front of me and I just could look at it all day long. And here's the clear bins. And um, oh, this is just a stand that I made for, well, I didn't make it, it was a chair, but I put a hole so I could, you know, charge like here. Hang my little charger there. And this is another wine rack. But this one is, a, is different, it's narrow. So it was so perfect because these ones kind of, you know, they're a little bit wider. So they stick out farther out of my desk, but this is just perfect. So I left this little part bit of the crate because now I, How's these guys up there but you know there's holes but you can't tell and it's just perfect and it's useful and it is convenient I you know how's my little things there and it's perfect and another inspiration uh, delight <laughs> that I received from my pen pal Ari. She made this to me because I told her about my story with Mr. Crow. So she immediately got inspired and made this for me. So thank you, Ari. I look at that often.
and this is a, a little organizer these are outgoing mail that I just I like to make sure that I see it because otherwise I'm gonna lose it and I'm gonna forget and that's why I have it there and then over here is uh, so I've left again this little sheet of uh, the wood so that it can be a shelf for my little things so I just made this and I put this antique knob in there and I house things inside there um, yeah you know, I have one hand so it's hard for me to just inspect what's inside and there's my made up contraption of my wax seal candle holder and these are mess messy drawers labels and things oh that's pretty empty and my nibs And this little thing, uh, it was, I think it's made from clay. This was a gift to me. It was made for me so beautiful. I used to collect angels, so I still have a little drawer full of little angel figurines. And this photo isn't mine, though I wished it was. I, I found this along uh, inside an album that I bought, a Victorian album. There were no photos inside, but this one I apparently got lost in between the pages and oh my gosh I mean the floral dresses on these ladies and the hair and the expression it was a moment and they looked like they were sharing some kind of exchanging words looks like a wedding to me that was a photo drawn from my daughter and I leave it there and um, here is the other side of my desk of my drawers and I love this little tray because it can be moved and there's more things underneath. It is, I love these drawers, so accessible. And so many things you could organize. paper clips and my special pens I received and these are my paper for my tea dyeing and coffee dyeing and these are laces I received recently I just didn't put it away yet because I want to I want to remember I have them so I could use them you know, like out of sight, out of mind. I don't, I don't want that. That's why I like everything just on site. And um, here is what's under my desk, you guys. See, it's hidden away, and you can't see all this mess. But it's somewhat organized. I, I like that it's clear, so I could definitely see what's inside, and that's one of the things that I love about it. And plus, I don't see it often because it's under the desk. So, um, and then my my chair hides that. And there you go. There you go, guys. Um, a new book that I found at the thrift shop. I'm gonna be fussing, fussy cutting that pretty soon. And um, I'm gonna back up just so you guys could see the whole thing. Hopefully. Alright, do you see it? Okay. There you have it. It's full glory. There. This is my happy place and my haven and my home and I just 
love being here and I could spend hours and hours sitting here doing all sorts of things. So thank you guys for watching and um, if you have anything to, to add to this and, and let me know and uh, I'd love some ideas. Thank you so much everybody and I will see you guys again really soon in uh, my next video. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Bye for now.